The newest block of classrooms were built more than 40 years ago and there's been no new construction at the school since 1978. Most classrooms and basic infrastructure fail to meet current educational expectations and require significant maintenance. Parents and teachers made a desperate plea to the Education Minister today for more funding to improve the rundown facilities and programs. Even the students want to see change. Some of the buildings, would, as you can see, they're sort of old. It would be nice to see them get upgraded with new technology. The teachers are uh, really well um, doing the best of what they can with the facilities. I reckon we need like more help. Almost half of the high school's population are refugees who have arrived in Australia in the last three years. Many of these students cannot understand English and have educational gaps of more than five years. The school caters for these students by providing an exceptional English as a second language program. But in order to continue to provide these facilities, there's a need for more funding. We believe that if we had newer, better facilities, we could enhance students even further in the educational process. Despite the issues raised with the Minister today, he's given no guarantees for extra funding until he receives a departmental report. Consultations have taken place with the school community. The department is now reviewing those consultations and the department shortly will come back to the school identifying the way, the options to go forward. In 2008, Yeronga State High School was listed as in the bottom 20 of schools with a maintenance backlog of more than $500,000. Abby Zeeth, QUT News.